Hello there and welcome. In this episode we're going to have a quick look at what you can put into a nano aquarium just to help to keep it a little bit cleaner. This includes fish and invertebrates. Now there are many things you can add to a large aquarium to help keep it clean, but finding something for your nano aquarium can be a little bit harder. However there are some great picks and most of them are actually in this tank right now. Firstly we have gobies. Now gobies are a little bit more unusual in the aquatic industry, but certain species make an excellent addition to a nano aquarium. This particular type of goby is an Annie's goby, and they are in the Stiphodon genus. Now there are some gobies in the Stiphodon genus that get quite big, but there are quite a few that also stay relatively small. And that means they make an ideal addition to a nano aquarium. Stiphodons generally feed off biofilm and algae that builds up on leaves and on rocks. And they are naturally a grazing organism. So for this purpose of being a small cleaner in a nano aquarium, these are an ideal addition. They're also incredibly attractive. The next fish is a little bit more common, but incredibly good at cleaning your nano aquariums. If you look at these two here, they're doing an excellent job at keeping this little bit of wood algae free. And these are Otocinculus. Otocinculus are a small sucker mouth catfish which likes to be kept in small groups. They're non-aggressive and don't get much over an inch. They are an incredibly active fish when it comes to cleaning and will continually move around your rock work, plant leaves, glass and any wood you have in your aquarium, grazing almost non-stop. So let's talk quickly about invertebrates and there are two types right now in this frame which are ideal for your small aquariums. Firstly, we have shrimps. Now any shrimps will be a good addition to a nano aquarium, but in particular you have Amano shrimps. Now Amano shrimps are very common in the aquatic industry but that's for a good reason and that is they're excellent cleaners and they don't add a lot to your bio load. Amano shrimps are generally quite clear but sometimes you'll get ones with hints of blue or green. They'll get fairly large in terms of nano up to about two inches in the largest I've seen. However, that doesn't mean they're unsuitable for a nano aquarium because they don't add a lot to your bio load and will constantly graze on any leftover food, algae or just waste in your tank. And it means a small tank can support quite a few of them. They don't need to be kept in groups, but they prefer it if they are. Now, the second thing in this picture are snails. Now these particular snails are ram's horns. Ram's horns are very common. Ram's horns are great at eating algae, but there are other species you can go for, such as nerite snails. Now all snails carry the risk of breeding and becoming a pest in your aquarium. So bear this in mind when you choose what species you go for. Ram's horns in particular do have a nasty habit of overtaking your aquarium, but this can be avoided if you make sure they're not overfed. Next up, and moving away from that beautiful tank, we're looking at Corydorus. Now a lot of Corydorus get far too big for a nano aquarium, but there are some species which are ideal, one of which is the salt and pepper cori. These are a diminutive Corydorus, not getting much bigger than an inch, but they still have all the characteristics of their larger cousins. They will move around in small shoals and clean up the bottom of your aquarium, keeping your sand and gravel turned over nicely and making sure that no large deposits of dirt build up in your tank. So lastly, I think I will give a mention to the Hillstream Loach. Now Hillstream Loaches are an excellent addition to nano tanks because they're an unaggressive, quite diminutive and attractive looking cleaner fish. Hillstream loaches like fast moving, well oxygenated water with good water quality. But if you can meet their needs, you can keep them in small groups and they will be an incredibly useful addition to your cleanup crew. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick rundown on the best nano fish and invertebrates to add to your nano aquarium. Hopefully it's helped you decide what to add to your aquarium. If you'd like to see more of this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and happy fish keeping.